Max, this is sort of such a unique time. I mean, we're um, 48 hours or so from you guys talking about the incredibly unique bond you guys had as a team. And yet we're also less than two weeks away from free agency coming when you might be talking to other teams. How do you balance this offseason from what you've, how you've grown here, what you've experienced here, from the reality that at the end of the day, I hate to use these words, but it's also a business? <laughs> the best answer I could give you is I, I honestly don't know. Um, it's new to me. Um, I'm still a part of what we're doing here. Um, it, it doesn't really feel like it's over yet. It hasn't kicked in yet. Um, so I, I'm just grateful for the being a part of this team and, and this run that we had. Uh, and it was, it was a very fun basketball experience for me. Um, so I'll always remember these moments and, and this run we had. Um, but as far as what's next, I don't know. And I'm looking forward to it. Um, just enjoying the journey and, and letting things take care of itself. Max, guys always say, or most guys always say, their preference is to stay where they're at, you know, when they're entering for agency. Do you, do you feel that way? And I guess what have been your takeaways just from your two plus years uh, here with the Heat? I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, I've had an unbelievable time here. Um, I did what I came here to do for myself. Um, they've gave me an opportunity, and I, and I took advantage of it, and I will forever be thankful um, to Coach Riley, Coach Spo, Andy, um, for keeping me around and giving me that opportunity um, to take that step in my career. And um, I couldn't have any, asked for anything better. I've been spoiled the past two years, um, you know, playing – as a starter, getting to the Eastern Conference Finals last year and getting to the NBA Finals this year, um, I don't think people realize how special that is, and it doesn't happen for a lot of people. So a lot of guys don't even make the playoffs in their career. So um, I have a lot to be thankful for um, looking looking over it, and um, this place is always going to have a, a special place in my heart. What, what, taking the obvious, taking money off the table, what what will matter to you come June 30th? Is it fit? Is it role? Is it for is sure. anything else? I mean, what, or ca- is it 99% money be just because the money no. is a, such a real part? Like what? Obviously money is a thing. I mean, that's just for anybody. Um, these are uh, moments that you, you work for and, um, you know, just opportunities that are, could be life changing. Um, so you can't ever take that out of it, but I, would, I love playing basketball, and that's always going to be the first thing for me. So playing basketball the right way, um, being comfortable in a place to do that, and making sure I'm, I'm compatible with what that an organization, organization is about and, and what they do. And, um, you know, I, I haven't had a better fit than, than being in Miami. Um, it's what I know. It's what I'm comfortable. Um, but uh, just excited to see – you know, what these next couple weeks or month is going to be about. Um, uh, like I said, I, I've never been here before, so I'm just going to take it all in, in, in stride and, and have my agents help out with everything. And um, But, yeah, a, a comfortability is definitely um, something to, to take into account. Max, you've shown pretty clearly that you can wear many, many different hats and jump into different roles. But once your free agency is sorted out and you get to playing basketball again next year, where do you want to take your game? You've always said more than a shooter, mm-hmm. you expand. Where, where do you want to take your game from here? Um, I think obviously after the, the finals run, um, and this happened last year too when we lost in the Eastern Conference Finals, it just um, the game brings out the best in you and it brings out the worst in you. Um, I know I didn't play as well as I wanted to in the finals. Um, it's, it's obvious that there's no way to hide from that. Um, and it just it opened up another light of, of a way I can get better, um, things I can work on, things I can improve upon. And having the, the idea that I can get better at something uh, is exciting to me. Um, I love competition. I love a challenge. Um, and I can't wait to, you know, Get better at everything that I wasn't good at um, in the finals and, and be better for it. 
Max, there's a lot of talk about heat culture. What do you think makes it so unique that other teams can't replicate? Um, I think it's just everybody's willingness and, and unwavering sacrifice to give. Um, a lot of our guys in our locker room are really talented. Um, but we've all given everything we had to the team to, to be good. And, and I think that was uh, what you can take most from this run, um, from this finals ex experience um, and what it took to get there is, is everybody got rid of their egos, had no complaints about anything, um, and just did everything they could to win the game. One day, one game at a time, one day at a time, um, we all just gave. And I, th I think that's what the culture is really about because it, it's not easy to do. Um, you know, there's a lot of individualness around the NBA and um, the ability to come together as a team and, and share moments and um, being able to share that success to, with each other is, is not normal. Um, and we made it normal, and it makes everything more fun and more enjoyable. Max, just kind of going off that, as you sit up here right now, what are you most proud of? <laughs> Ooh, I'm not ready for that one. Um, I'm just proud of being here. Um, I'm sure you guys would call me crazy, but I've envisioned this for my career. Um, doing the things that I've done, playing in meaningful games, being a starter in the NBA, I, I envisioned that for myself. Um, and it, it's just been, uh, you know, the past couple of days just taking it all in and, and understanding that, you know, I've accomplished a lot of my personal goals and, and uh, individual goals along the way is, is uh, something to be proud of. Um, you know, obviously with failure, um, you learn from it and try to be better from it. And, I, and I'm going to do that. Um, but just to be here in this moment to, you know, accomplish what I've accomplished um, throughout my career has been special. And, uh, you know, I got nothing to thank but the heat and Coach Spo for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.